problem 3-1a. So this problem we're going to journalize adjusting journal entries. We're going to post them to T accounts and then we're going to post those adjusting journal entries here and then we're going to create an adjusted trial balance here. So in number one it says $900 of supplies have been used. So that is supplies expense and we want to credit supplies for $900. Okay, so then T accounts, we want to credit supplies for 900 and then we want to find supplies expense, which we debit for $900. So then on trial balance, the adjustment, we make the credit to supplies then we create a line item for supplies expense. We want to have the corresponding debit for 900. Then in number two, it says we have utility expense for $250. Now, since it was incurred but not paid, we have Accounts payable for the credit for $250. So then we go to the T account. We have utilities expense that we debit for $250. And then we have accounts payable that we credit for $250. Then on the trial balance, accounts payable, credit for 250. Then we add another line item for utility expense for 250. Then in number three, it says insurance is policies for two years. So we have insurance expense and the assumption is that we purchased this insurance policy at the beginning of the month of May and it was $3,600 and it was for two years so we divide by 24 months and we have 150 months of $150 excuse me of insurance expense for the month. So prepaid insurance is credited for $150 here. And insurance expense is debited $150. So on our trial balance, prepaid insurance is credited $150. And we create a line item for insurance expense. And that's a debit for $150. Then in number four, uh, it says $400 of the balance in the unearned service revenue account remains unearned. So if we look at the unearned service revenue account, the initial balance is $2,000. So now we want to reduce that by $1,600 to get down to $400. And we credit service revenue. Then we put it on the corresponding T accounts. So service revenue is credited, 1600. And we need to find unearned service revenue. And we need to debit that for 1600. So on the trial balance, on our service revenue, we have a debit for 1600. And service revenue, we have a credit for 1600. And journal entry number five 
it says May 31st is Wednesday and employees are paid on Fridays. Um, there are two employees who are paid $900 each for a five day work week. Work week. So we have wages expense and then we have wages payable since they do not get paid until Friday and the 31st, the end of the month is on Wednesday. So we have two employees. So we need to multiply those wages times two. And then since they only get paid for up through the 31st, that's five days, we want to multiply that times three-fifths. Okay, for those three days. So they get paid 1080 those two employees for those three days. So here we have wages and expense, which is 1080. And then we also have wages payable, which is credited for 1080. Okay, so on our trial balance, we have wages expense. 1080 and we also have wages payable it's not included here so we want to create a line item so wages payable and that's a credit 1080 okay and then transaction number six so the office furniture has a five-year life with no salvage value it is being depreciated at $190 per month for 60 months months so we have depreciation expense that we're going to debit for $190 and accumulated depreciation is our credit for $190 so here our expense we debit $190 and accumulated depreciation we credit for $190 so on the trial balance, we need to put line items. So accumulated depreciation goes under equipment, and that's a credit for 190. And then we need to create a line item for depreciation expense. $190. Okay, and the last transaction, number seven, it says the invoices representing $1,700 of services performed during the month have not been recorded, <clears throat> meaning that there's an accounts receivable that's created and service revenue. So we debit accounts receivable 1700 and we credit service revenue so we find the corresponding accounts so we add 1700 for service revenue and the credit and then accounts receivable is debited for 1700 so on our trial balance accounts receivable has a debit of seventeen hundred, and then I will add seventeen hundred to the service revenue. Okay, so if I put all my debits and credits in the correct places for the correct amounts, each column should be equal. So it's fifty-eight seventy. So now all I have to do is add across or subtract depending on the account. So cash, there was no change. Accounts receivable, there was an increase. Supplies, there was a decrease. Prepaid insurance was also a decrease. Equipment, there was no change. We have added accumulated depreciation, added in wages payable, increased accounts payable, Service revenue, uh, excuse me, unearned service revenue has decreased. Owner's capital 
is not changed. Service revenue has increased. We add a utilities expense, insurance expense, depreciation expense, supplies expense, and wages expense increases. And rent expense stays the same. Now we'll sum the entire both columns and they should be equal and they are so my debits equal my credits so that's my adjusted trial balance and that is the answers to A, B, and C for problem 3-1A.